Welcome back to another vlogging tutorial. And today we're doing Lord Merchants 1.9. This is an update video because I have done the 1.8 tutorial. But now there has been many updates and it has made me to become or to do another tutorial. So to begin with, the base command slash Lord. Now to see all the stuff that I'm seeing, you need to be um, the owner or have at least a permission to see all this. So if you do slash Lord, you will have slash lord it'll just show you all the the commands which are all of this right here and there there are these commands look like really confusing but they're actually really easy and there's only very few commands so to begin, begin off with there's slash we want to create our group so if you do slash lord group it's the second command on the list slash lord group create which I'm bad at spelling. Slash Lord group create space, and then you're gonna want to do the name of your group. For me, for purposes, I'm only gonna do player. But let's just say you're creating an admin group. You name it admin. That's how you like. Yeah, that's how that's how the, what you name your group. If you're gonna like create an admin group, you're gonna name it admin. So I'm gonna just name my player just for tutorial sakes. You wanna press enter, and the group player has was successfully created. If you get don't get this or you say unknown command, it means your plugin is not installed correctly or you type the command incorrectly. Because you need to type it in that certain order or it will not work. It's the same for all these commands. So now that we've created the group player, let's just say you want to ha uh, have it default. So when players join the server, they'll already be default, even if it's their first time joining. So to do that, I do slash lord group edit and then the name of the group which is player and yes this is say um case sensitive so if you put a uh, uppercase word or letter in it it will want you want to do that when you're doing this editing it is case sensitive just to warn you so once you do that you're gonna do the player space and the default and it's now the default group and now for the next one let's just say you want a prefix like Let's just say you're a player and your name is in your place. One of people want to know that you're a player. So then that, the prefix will be like before the name. So once I create it, I'll talk and I'll show you what a prefix is. So all we do is slash Lord group edit. Then the name of the group, which is player for me. For you, it might be admin or owner. That. Okay, then player. Then we're going to do prefix. And then we can do the prefix. Now what I'm about to type are some color codes. I will leave you a link in the description to a picture that shows you all the color codes for Minecraft. So all this thing, I'm gonna make mine and seven and a border. Then and sit or and a for green. And then type in player. And and seven for gray. And then a bracket. And enter. And the prefix was saved. So now if I say hi. It says default because there's already a um, group in there that's default. So what we're going to do next, I'm going to set my player into that group. So by doing that, we do slash Lord. And it's group. Set. And then the player name, which mine is underscore ginger plays. Underscore plays. Underscore. Space. And then the group that's going to be in. So I'm going to want to be in the player group. The player ginger plays was set to the group player. There we go. So now if you say hi, we have the player prefix. As seen there, it has gray brackets and inside it has green text as we set it. And it says player. So that is how you do a prefix. So what if you want colored chat for your users? Like let's just say the player group wants orange text. Well, that's something called a suffix. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set the suffix for the group player. We're going to do slash lord group edit. Then, then the name of the group, which is player for me. And then suffix. And then you do color code like and a error and six. And six is orange. And now the suffix will say, so now if I say hi, my, but the thing that I, my text is set, my, that says hi is orange. So if we just type in longer text here, it will be orange. Anything 
after my name will be orange, okay? That's what a suffix is. So now let's just say we want to um, add a, a permission to the group that we just made. Like, let's just say we want them to fly or something. So I don't have essentials, but if you did, this is what you do. If you wanted them to do slash fly, you slash lord group edit and then the name no, you don't do edit you do on um, permission it's different for uh this pre yeah for the permissions and then the, the color coding and stuff of the the um group so basically now you're gonna hold on guys i do a lot of typos apparently today or whatever so once you have that you space again and ask we're adding permission space again Name of the group, obviously, because that's, we want the, the player group that's what we're writing. So we put in the name of the group and the permission. So for essentials, would be if we want the player to do slash fly, do essentials dot fly. If you want, like, if you're having problems with permissions and you want to add this pro plugin to fix it, you have to find the permission. So let's let's just say you have a Skywars plugin and they can't do it, like they need it says they need a certain permission. You literally need to go to the the plugin that you're trying to research or find the permission for, and they should have a permissions list. And find that per certain permission and insert it into the player if you, or the player group if you want them to play. So once you got that, you enter your permission. Mine's gonna be essentials.fly. And then wait no, you player than that and click enter. The permission essentials.fly was added to the group player. Now with this plugin, it will add anything if you type blah. It will add it. You gotta make sure that it's the right permission. If you do not spell it correctly, it will mess up. So now let's just say you don't want that permission. You don't want people to to fly. Well then you do slash you wanna remove the permission. So you do slash lord group permission. And then the name or remove. Then the name of the group. And then the name of the permission. So we just added essentials.fly. So we're gonna obviously gonna remove that. You can do essentials.fly. So now you're gonna enter the. Well, I'll just say you don't want a permission. You have to get the exact permission. Otherwise, if you do the removing of the or a wrong permission, it'll say it's not there or you typed it incorrectly. So once again, guys, you need to type it correctly. So once you got that, you put, put, press enter. And it'll say the person the permission essentials.fly was removed from the group player. And that's pretty much how to add and remove. Now, um, we already set the player. We already went over this permission. That's how I set myself in the group. Now let's just say you wanna add only um let's just say like one person cannot join but the other person can. Well what if you don't want to do it for the whole group but just for that one person? Well you do the same exact thing for the group. Except group you put players, so I it's I want I don't want to go over it because it's the same exact thing But basically this command right here at you just do type this in Add your name put the name of the player in and then the permission you want that just a player to have And it's the same thing with remove. It's the same thing you just put with move for if you want to remove the permission That's basically the entire plugin and There's one more command. I want to go over and we're gonna go to the config so if you do slash lord reload, it will re actually reload um, the plugin itself and kick you from the nerf server so that when you join back in, it'll make sure you got the, the, the uh, new um, permissions. So now let's just say you get new permissions and you just join the server again and it's just the same server just reloaded. And um, yeah, basically that's it for end game and now we're going to go over to the files. I will see you in the file. Okay guys, now we're gonna edit the config file. So if you have a uh, Minecraft server host, it should look something similar to this. If you go over the files and FTP file access and then log in, that will bring you to the files. Now if you're on your computer, all you wanna go to do, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your server where your server is kept in the file and there should be a plugins folder. You'll click on that and you're basically gonna have a Lord's permissions file you click on that, and this is um, where we're going to be editing most of the time. So now we're going to click edit. You will now have something with the group default. And then this is the one that we made in game called player. Now it has essentials.fly, which is one we added. And then these are here by default. 
And um, basically what it'll also will do is it'll set, this is like, remember how we said that we set the, the default group to player? So that when people first join, they will automatically be the, the, uh, in the player group? Well, this is what um, it sets it to. So if you want to change it from in the config, this is what you edit right here. And now basically what this is, is basically the same thing that we did in game, just in config. So basically what this is, is the uh, prefix. Prefix is it says right here. And once again, color codes as I typed in, it look like what was in the game, so you can get right here, just don't leave the quotation marks. Once again, it's really simple. And then this one, it's just the permission. So essentials.fly is the one we added. If you do not want to add it in game, you add it here. And then the pre suffix, you'd add here, just is just what your text will look like in color. You just add this here, like add six or something. Once again, guys, I will also add the, um, the color codes into the description below. And that's basically it for this file. This file is real easy. It's just you gotta watch out for what um if you like actually put in an extra space, it will not read it. So now if you go over to the players.yml, there's a space here that is usual. It will say ginger plays the group. Like so this is basically where all the players will remember which group is in. So basically remember how I set myself to the group player? Well ginger plays says that the group his group is in the player group and if you remember how we were saying how i could add extra permissions for only a certain person this is the extra permissions and this is where you would add it here and obviously i have those because i get to edit this up and then that is basically it for the config and that is the plug in itself guys once again this guy is fully devoted and he is still coding the plugin right now he is trying to add support for easy ranks that means that you can rank up with this plugin. This plugin is very simple and I can't wait for it to be compatible with easy ranks. And once again guys, if this plugin does get updated a lot, I will then put another tutorial for this video out there. And yes guys, I know it has been a very long time since I have done videos, plugin videos. So I will hopefully be doing more videos in the future. And once again guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.